Hi, good afternoon. My name is Chaz Russell. I'm the Assistant Marketing Manager for the Next Generation Sierra. So we're here today to talk to you in, in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland about the ProGrade trailering system. So what we have here behind us is a uh, Max Trailer SLT and uh, it's equipped with the trailer camera package and, and tire pressure monitoring system. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about, ProGrade trailering is a all-encompassing package of a lot of different features that have been vetted and looked at uh, to make the experience better for our customer. First one here is this, this trailer label, right? So based on the equipment and uh, what's, what's on your truck, this is, this is specific to the build of this vehicle so you know all the, the ratings that this truck is capable up to. So uh, whereas before you'd have to do a lot of math, uh, it takes all that out of the equation as long as you know what you're towing and how much is, is behind the truck. Uh, Vision-based system that's equipped on this truck. It's the trailer camera package available on our SLTs. We have our two cameras set up on our side profile mirrors plus the one in the back of the truck. We also have equipped with us an auxiliary accessory uh, camera that's plugged right into the back. So it's going to give us uh, uh, a lot of different views that are really helpful for the customer and uh, being able to see what's in and around their their truck and connected trailer. So we'll go right in here and we'll check our, our camera app. We'll pull that right up. And so it's it's defaulting right now to, uh, to hitch mode. So I'm gonna toggle between all the available views here. First one here, uh, we have the ability of seeing this full screen or with the uh, surround vision based system uh, that, that can see everything around the truck except for the front. We don't have a camera equipped on this truck. Uh, with this uh, uh, auxiliary accessory camera. We can actually turn that off if we want a full screen here with the hitch hitch view, or you can turn that off, or you can choose dynamic guidelines, whatever preference is for you. So this is really helpful, just backing the truck up into a parking spot. You got a wide angle view so you can see more of what's, what's around the vehicle. Um, you got a, a view that's a, an overhead that captures um, about half of the pickup bed as well as the hitch as you're backing up to give you a wider view. Uh, but this is hitch view right here, uh, also available on our, um, you know, our, our standard camera system for the SLTs. And uh, this gets you right on the exact point that you need to be. And then from this view, when you're actually uh, throw it into reverse and you throw it uh, back into park, uh, oftentimes if, if you're on any type of inclined surface, uh, sometimes that your truck just slightly moves Get you off exactly where you are and you have to adjust from um, you know the trailer itself so when you do that and you throw it back into park and you take your foot off the brake it auto engages the electric park brake assist which keeps that truck in the optimal place these are my favorite views right here so we can toggle between a few of them so here's our side side views you know if we didn't have the auxiliary accessory camera this would be your your only available view on this this pattern here um, but available as an accessory you can get this, this camera that integrates right into the package, into the truck. I'm backing right into my campsite. How much room do I have behind this big Airstream? It tells you exactly where you're at. And then you can combine in here with the two side cameras. Right. And all of these views are available um, in four conditions up to seven miles an hour. And if you're driving down the road and you want to check and, and see how, how your connection or, or maybe your chains, you hear something back there, you know, this one will come on got somebody playing with it back there but the, the hitch view can be engaged when you're driving down the highway and turn oh, okay. on for a few seconds just yep. to do a, a quick spot check on the road this is an available view that's down on the tire lines here you know when we get on the off road course later today a lot of these views have have secondary usages right. as well so now if we were towing a, a utility trailer something low does this is this truck equipped with the rearview mirror camera this is not. So okay. that is not available on the SLT. That is a Denali and AT4 option okay. only. What we're looking at is our status screen here. So on the right, um, you can see our transmission temperature gauge. So uh, very important for, for trailering. Uh, one of the key indicators there is just checking that temperature gauge. We're also seeing how our fuel economy is working um, with this Airstream. So, uh, you know, and all these data points are collected based on the trailer that you set up. So um, you can set up new trailer profiles, have as many as you want in here. Um, we're connected to the Airstream at the moment, but if we wanted to set a new profile, very easy to do. Conventional hitch. What type of trailer do we have? Well, we got a utility trailer here. Um, 
continue events set up for more features such as tow hauls. So we'll go ahead and do that. Tow haul reminder, yes, please. Recalled our brake gain. So right now the brake gain is set at a, at a certain, now it's set at zero, but the moment that we change that, it's gonna, um, it's gonna keep that output based on uh, the trailer profile that we have set up. So yeah, that's nice. Um, so we do have trailer tire pressure monitor set up back there. Uh, you can go through the process of pairing those right here with the available tool. So um, you know, setting up is, is very easy to do. And when we, when we go back to our connected Airstream, uh, which is set up right now, as we're called our brake gain. If we're, if we're hooking up to it for the first time too, so the checklist is important. This is all also available on your uh, My GMC app. Uh, so from a checklist standpoint here, uh, you can scroll through, and we have these preloaded based on some of our trailering manufacturers and, 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 and partners. Uh, what is important? What do we got to do from a safety standpoint that's, uh, that a customer needs to be aware of when hooking and setting up for the trailer? So the first one is checking the hitch. So correct installation of the hitch, make sure it's safely connected. Raise the trailer using the tongue jack and the tongue height is higher than the ball height. Back up to the vehicle using the hitch view camera. Plug in your electrical connector um, and do the trailer light test. So for this one right here, we can just check it. When we're outside the vehicle, we go behind. It's running a sequence with the vehicle as we speak. And it's, uh, it's checking the brake lights, the left, the turn, right, and reverse lamps. We're all set up. Everything's working properly. Connect our safety chains store our jack, inspect the tire pressure, just make sure our, our temp and, and uh, 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 pressure is within acceptable range, remove our wheel chocks, adjust our mirrors, adjust our gains, we're all done. And then you can add whatever uh, custom uh, items in the checklist that you'd like to do. You know, they set up one in here, remember your beer. So, you know, that's just uh, just one, one more thing, right? Our app integrates with these these features as well as the trailer theft alert. Equipped with OnStar, if your if your trailer is decoupled, disconnects from the from the truck, uh, it can notify you via text or email uh, right to your phone if you're not with your truck, uh, as well as the you know the alarm going off in the middle of the night. So that's. that's... My friends and parents, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.